Sardinia, the beautiful Mediterranean island. We hiked five of its best trails, selected to have the maximum variety for a first time visit of the island. And during my research I accidentally stumbled upon one which is probably the most underrated hike of Sardinia. It leads to this valley called the Golden Basin, yet it hides the mountain of death. But let's start from the beginning. The Sala del Diavolo is a saddle-shaped promontory right in the capital city of Cagliari. The hike is a great mix of being in the wild yet having amazing panoramic views of the city and the sea. If you can make it at sunrise or sunset, you will get absolutely stunning 360 degree views. Sardinia has quite a few nice waterfall trails to offer, but we picked this hike as the best one in terms of its unusual style. The waterfall looks more like a cascade or a wall of mist. And the drive there is very picturesque and a bit insane. You get to drive on a one lane serpentine road, yeah. Hello. To hike this trail you have to pay a fee which can be done at the entrance checkpoint. After this, it's a hardcore drive down into the valley. Some will like it more, others maybe less. The hike is a constant decline so the way back can be challenging especially for families with kids. Our boys are used to this but we met other parents who had to carry their children and look pretty exhausted. You can swim in the waterfall pool, just be careful, the rocks can be pretty sharp. When going south of Cagliari, you'll be able to catch postcard views of flamingos with mountains in the background. There you will also find the top rated trail of the All Trails app. It includes two stunning beaches, a lighthouse and an abandoned house on a hilltop.
Capo's Parivento Lighthouse has been transformed into a luxury resort and is located at the southernmost point of Sardinia. This is by far the most popular hike in Sardinia, and there are plenty of reviews out there, but ours may be unique in that we did it on a rainy November day. The hike starts at the pass and has a 4.5 km walk down into the valley. Once you reach the entrance of the canyon, you have to buy a ticket there, and you can also order a jeep transfer back to the pass, just make sure to pre-order it in high season. parts, the green one which we did and that ends at the famous huge wall, a more challenging yellow section and the red pro section which can be done with guides only. So since the hike up would be a little bit too difficult, maybe even too dangerous, given the circumstances, the weather. We decided to take the Jeep, it costs 15 euros per person, but you have to make a 2.8 kilometers hike to the Jeep. So we're on our way. Sardinia has many incredible mountain trails, but I chose this one because it's more than just a hike. You also get a view into one of the darkest chapters of the late history of Sardinia. It's a hike to the mountain of the Golden Basin, but it should be called Mountain of Death. Let me show you why.
What have you? The trail is marked with these little ribbons and little men. In 1979, a passenger airplane crashed here and all 31 occupants were killed. There's debris scattered all around in an area of one kilometer. Due to thick clouds and a broken instrument, the pilot thought he's landing the plane at the airport, but instead he hit the mountain. Right above the tail rack, there's this weird spot. Maybe this is the place where the plane hit the rocks. If you know more, let me know in the comments. When you stand here all alone, you just feel the sadness. And the sad irony is that on the mountain top of the Golden Basin, you can actually see the airport. It was a very humbling experience, and it's a reminder of how abrupt our lives can end. So we should cherish each moment. Sorry for ending it on this sad note, but the hike was beautiful and the trip was great. So you can find all of the trails on our website trailwalkers.co all of the trails are marked there so you will find them easily if you found this video useful please subscribe to our channel and hit the like button thank you